So which ones are? So this is the what, the one from the last tree I got from you. This is the beech. Yeah. So that was from that trunk that was next to the one that we had that you were chopping up the other day. Yeah. That's beautiful. And what kind is this? That's beech. That's the same as the ones you saw oh, on the shelf. So the difference, you can yeah. even see as finished. This is a greener beech that you would turn when it was greener and is darker. And that's much paler with the spalting. And these are your salad servers. That's also beech, but not Not, beach. not our beech. And is this beech as well? That's oak. Oh, that's an oak coffee scoop. I love, I do, I, I hate to say it, but I've given these as a lot of presents. They're a perfect yeah. coffee scoop. Uh, they're, sorry, they're, they're a perfect present for people. I love giving those away. So, no, those are very good. Those are really, really lovely. And these are yours. Now, these are yours as well. Yeah. These benches and stools. And I'm going to be very, you know... I love the feel of them. They're, sit on it. Yeah. And you, you're formed as you sit. <laughs> Isn't it? It is. It's really nice. I love those. Those are really nice. And are these, is that ash? Uh, ash legs of top. So the top, is, is this spalted? That's spalted beach as well. That's spalted beach. And the legs are? Also spalted. These are spalted beach, and these are as well? Yeah. And this is? Uh, this, the top is oak. The top is the oak? Legs are ash. Oh, you can see the color difference. Mm. Oh, gorgeous. What's really interesting is how you make the pattern. It's a three. You can make this you see that. That's gorgeous. Yeah, you have to try and match the yeah. smelting lines. Yeah. But it's lovely. And these are beautiful old... Um, yeah, there's no screws. It's just it's uh, one of those kind of linked. So you drive that in as a wedge yeah. and spread it from the yeah. wedge. And, yeah, yeah. They're beautiful, absolutely gorgeous, and all different um, spalting colors. It's a very tall cow you can use that for your milk. It wouldn't be a carry cow. <laughs> No, it's a bit too, I'd say it's not, it's a, what, what are those, um, yeah. kitchen yeah. Breakfast, breakfast bar kind of, yeah. but they're really, really beautiful. Kind of loosely based on a, an old tractor seat. Oh, I see it now. Yes, yeah. those old cast iron metal tractor seats that were so comfortable. And I see they're not always... In pattern, you sometimes twist them another way, or is that just the only one that went off? Uh, actually, I made a mistake. You made. <laughs> hey, there's the one to buy everybody where he made a mistake. All of them are sideways except for that one. <laughs> it makes that unique one more valuable. Yeah. That's always the way. Oh, well, they're gorgeous, and all of these are up on your website. Or the benches. Well, and... ones are on my website. Ah. Furniture, not yet. The furniture is not on the website yet. But if somebody was to ask for it, would they, um, they could email. email you and say, we like your tractor seat stools? Um, or that beautiful oak ash bench is gorgeous. And you could then say, yes, I can send it to you, but shipping will cost X amount and they cost X amount. Perfect. And then this is your, who, do, are these your brothers or who's? Yeah, he's the glass blower. He's the glass blower. So these are beautiful vases, um, colorful vases. Are they, these are vases. That's what they're being called, are they? Candy cane vases. And then on the walls you have um, Ross, Stewart. Ross Stewart's beautiful pieces. I'm a big fan of his work. I love this one. He did another one of those down in Thomastown. So, no, it's a lovely exhibition. And how long is this exhibition on for? Um, another month. And we are in September, so there'll be a new exhibition for Christmas. Uh, no, we usually just do an exhibition for Arts Week. 
for the arts festival, yeah. Uh, then it's usually just the gallery space where we have uh, unusual bits of glass or wood. Or... Things like that. So for the month of September, and then this exhibition will be here. No, they're great. I love these. Somebody made a leather, a leather basket. And then, oh, that's a ceramic basket. I love the leather basket. I mean, who did this? Uh, Ken Foley. Oh, he's the leather maker guy. Yeah, oh, I love his stuff. He's made some gorgeous stuff over the years. And then Sonia, do you live downstairs? With oh, she's Sonia. with the Crooked Houses. I'll have to do a little video of the Crooked Houses. No, that's lovely. Oh, that's really good. But of course I have a soft spot for the uh, <clears throat> wood turn stuff and the benches and the stools because they're our, some of them are our trees. They're absolutely, so these are all, uh, beach, not all beach, beach. beach ash. Okay, so two beach and ash. It's also ash. That's a beautiful That's one. That's another one from our tree. That's another of our trees. Yeah, this is another great one. And the rims, a lot of the rims are different. You have a very thin rim here and a thicker rim here. And then these two here. And then there's your, you know, mug shop. <laughs> no, it looks great. Well, I'll have to uh, talk to uh, Sonia. Is that her name? Yeah. Downstairs about her crooked houses. Yeah. I might sneak one, her in if she's not, if she'll allow it. And these are more of Ross Stewart's beautiful paintings. That's a lovely one there. Yeah, I wonder where that's from, with the old stones in front. I don't know, he does a lot of paintings in the west of Ireland. Yeah. He goes to the west and loves Connemara and Clare and places like that, um, and Mayo. So it could be somewhere well, maybe in Galway. Well, maybe space sticking out a bit, and that's an ocean bay as opposed to a river. Oh, I'm sure that so is a bay. Probably yeah, the waves. Yeah, that, that's a particularly nice one right there. So these are yours as well. And what is this? These are butter knives butter or something. Knives, yeah. And uh, cheese board or something. Yeah. And then the salad thingies. And you mentioned the balloon baskets upstairs. And these, the woman who made these is called Sonia. Sonia who's right here, happens to be. <laughs> these are beautiful. So, Sonia, tell me, how are these done with kind of a lace pattern that yeah. you lay on the raw? Um, yeah, so these are, well, they're, they're stoneware clay, then they get two layers of porcelain slip, and then I press the lace in, and then it gets filled in with glaze after the first firing and wiped back so that the glaze just sits in the grooves. And then on these ones, it's, it, I put a collared slip on it, and then press in wallpaper, and then it gets an iron oxide wash. Oh, so cool. Different. So they're all different, but there you've got so many different funny crooked houses. I love them. And I, the chimneys, I love your chimney smoke. You, you, it looks so it's like- actually it's supposed to be the chimney pots initially rather than the smoke coming Oh no! But most people think it's smoke. So, no! <laughs> no. <laughs> okay, so they're supposed to be the chimney pots. Well, yeah, that was my thinking. initial thinking. Initial thinking yeah. yeah, no, I love them. They, it, they do look like the chimney smoke. But now that you're saying they were supposed to be chimney, crooked chimney pots yeah. with the crooked house. Yeah. Okay. No, those are, I love those. Those are great. And look at that. I do, I love your chimney pot stroke. Um, smoke. Smoke. And, um, oh, and this is yours as well. This is one of your, you were mentioning the um, citrus, juicer. citrus juicer thing. Oh, these are great. Oh, these are lovely. Excellent. Okay. Well, then I'll have to come back another day um, to see the, um, these are all here in the shop. I love this flock of fish. No, fish aren't a flock. What are they? School. A school. They're schools. I know, a school of fish. They're wonderful. 